if your solar inverter fails, you are in big trouble. Your entire system grinds to a halt. All the shiny solar panels in your roof will be dead, producing nothing, and you will be headed for an astronomical bill from your electric company. All that research on the 25-year solar panel warranties, panel efficiencies, warranties, brands, all that will come to naught if the inverter fails early. The solar inverter is the beating heart of your solar system and unfortunately is the most, the most fragile and failure prone component of the system. I'm John from my solar home and today I'm pulling back the curtain on the three biggest inverter mistakes we see happening day in and day out. And I'll help you to choose the right inverter that not only saves you money, but boosts performance and will give you peace of mind. Let's start with the most common mistake choosing the wrong type of inverter for your roof. This is the classic debate. String inverter versus micro inverter versus DC optimizer. Now, if your roof is simple, say all the panels are on one plane with full sun most of the day, then a modern string inverter from SMA, Solarx, Solix might be your most reliable and cost-effective option. Today's string inverters have multiple MPPT zones module level power tracking so they can optimize power from different roof angles efficiently in addition newer solar panels they have inbuilt optimization to mitigate shade with new features like bypass diodes multi bus bars half cut cells and the new top con cell technology all that has dramatically improved performance of solar panels in low light and shade conditions. But for more complex roofs with chimneys, dormers, trees, casting shadows on different sections of your roof, you will want module level electronics like the end phase microinverters or the solar edge optimizers. These isolate and optimize each panel's performance, ensuring shade on one panel does not affect your whole system. And here's another reason why microinverters are popular in the US. Same thing for optimizers, rapid shutdown compliance. US electrical codes require systems to shut down quickly for safety. Microinverters and optimizers make this much easier, but that doesn't mean they're right for every roof. A great installer will analyze your shading, your angles, what your energy goals are, what your budget is, and match your inverter accordingly. Don't accept one size fits all pitch. I work with some of the best solar installed partners across the US and I do system design myself to give you the best options for your solar project. Feel free to reach out to me. My contacts are in the description below. The next big mistake is believing that clipping is always bad. Clipping happens when your solar panels produce more DC power than your inverter can convert to AC. That sounds wasteful, right? But here's the truth. A bit of clipping can actually make your system more efficient. Solar pros use something called a DC to AC ratio. A ratio of 1.3 to 1 is usually the sweet spot in the US. That means you can pair a 13 kW DC solar array with a 10 kW inverter. Now, why do we do this? Because your panels almost never produce their maximum rated power. Oversizing ensures your panels, your inverter operates near peak efficiency more often throughout the day, especially during the mornings and evenings. The result, you get more total energy production over the course of the year and a better return on investment. A little clipping in peak sun is a fair trade-off. Solar Edge, Solar, SunGrow, Solix, and other st similar string inverters should always use the DC to AC ratio of around 1.3 to 1. Microinverters like Enphase should always be paired with the correct model. High wattage panels like the REC460 should be paired with the Enphase IQ8X. Lower 430 and 440 watt panels work well with the IQ8Ms and the IQ8Hs. Ask your installer about the Enphase model you're being offered and look up the Enphase website. They have a chart showing compatibility. If you're thinking about getting a battery, the new generation of hybrid inverters like the Tesla Powerwall 3, combine a battery and a string inverter for your solar panels all into one package. 
you don't have to worry about inverter sizing. These hybrid inverters are designed to work with as few as three or four panels to as many as 45 panels as they have multiple zones. Kind of like separate inverters all housed in the same box that can be connected to different sets of panels on your roof. The point guard is another new entrant doing very well in the hybrid battery inverter space. The third big mistake is ignoring warranty fine print and install quality. Poor installation and weak warranties are a silent killer. I recently spoke to Darren, whose five-year-old inverter had failed. The installer, unfortunately, out of business. The brand has no US support. His 10-year warranty requires him to ship the unit overseas, all at his own expense, and he has no labor coverage. Could be huge costs to get it installed after it's repaired. I was able to help Darren out by spending a fraction of the amount he would have had to spend on shipping and reinstallation. I have a network of solar professionals who are trained in supporting an array of solar panels, batteries, and systems. Bottom line, always choose a brand with a strong US presence, clear warranty language, and support that includes parts and shipping. None of the inverter manufacturers will offer a labor warranty, so it's really important to have a reliable installer because the labor warranty comes through your installer. Now, when you're installing a string inverter, insist on the install happening in a cool, shaded, and a well-ventilated spot. Heat really is the enemy. If your inverter is baking in full sun on a hot wall, you are asking for failure. So let me recap the inverter playbook. Match the inverter to your roof. Don't blindly accept microinverters or optimizers or string inverters. Get a tailored recommendation. Design for total annual energy production, not just peak production. A little clipping is good. Look for that sweet DC to AC ratio. Vet the warranty and installation quality. US support, clear terms, proper location. Your inverter may be out of sight, but it shouldn't be out of mind. It's the heart of your solar system. Don't let a $1,500 shortcut cost you thousands down the road. Need help choosing the right system for your home? Reach out to me at mysolarhome.us, call me at 609-908-3700, or email solar at mysolarhome.us for a free consult or a quote. If this video saved you from one of these costly mistakes, please hit that like button and subscribe and drop in your inverted questions in the comments. I read every one of them and many of them turn into future videos. Till the next time, stay powered and protected and maybe you'll like my recent video on the best solar batteries in the US today.